When you hear compound interest, you probably think of banks, savings, or maybe that quote people say Einstein made up. But the truth is, the story of compound interest started thousands of years ago, and it wasn't about money at all. Travel back 4,000 years to ancient Mesopotamia. Farmers didn't borrow dollars, they borrowed grain. And the lenders, they didn't just want their grain back, they wanted more. If you borrowed 10 sacks, you might owe 11. Wait a season, and suddenly, you owed 12. That was the seed of compound interest, grain growing on top of grain. The idea spread fast. In Babylon, scribes recorded debts on clay tablets that grew larger every year. In Greece, philosophers debated whether charging interest was moral. And in Rome, compound debt grew so powerful that emperors tried to ban it outright, fearing it would crush citizens under endless repayments. Even religion got involved, the Bible, the Quran, and early church leaders all warned against the dangers of interest because it gave lenders a kind of invisible power, the power to make money grow without lifting a finger. Centuries later, mathematicians began to study this strange force, and then came Albert Einstein, who's rumored to have called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. Whether he actually said it or not, the truth is clear. Compound interest shapes our lives every single day. It builds fortunes quietly and destroys debtors loudly. From sacks of grain in Mesopotamia to trillion dollar global banks today, compound interest isn't just math. It's a story of power, wealth and survival that's been unfolding for 40 centuries.